everyone, my name is Nina and today I decided to record a video for you so that you could hear about my journey with cervical dystonia and how I came about being diagnosed and ultimately what led me to kneel and just where I currently am in my recovery. So to give you a little bit of a backstory, so currently I am 36 years old and when I was about, I want to say, 33, 34, I started to exhibit at the time what I felt like were really strange symptoms in my neck, um, which consisted of little jerks, felt like twitches to me, but they were really quick and usually after about a week or so they would go away. So I would go through that every few months. Um, I want to say I went through that for about a year, a year and a half of my symptoms coming and going and staying for about a week and then going. And during this time, I felt the jerks and the twitches, but everybody around me, when I would ask my partner, I would ask my mom, you know, my friends, I would ask them, hey, does anything seem strange with um, my neck? Does it seem like my neck is moving weird? Is something, do you see something? And they always be like, no, 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 you know, um, maybe it's stress, like, don't worry about it. So for a year and a half, they would come, the symptoms would come, they would go. And I want to say around November, November of 2021, um, my symptoms, actually, I'm sorry, October of 2021, my symptoms started back up. And by the last week of November, I just woke up one day and at that point it was very obvious that something was wrong with my neck my neck was like this and i couldn't really turn it to the left that much um that's when my family started to see that something was going on so around that time i my first my first appointment was just with my general practitioner who i went to go see and I told him what it was that was going on and he could see something was going on. So he ordered, I believe the first test was an MRI, um, an MRI of my neck. So I had an MRI of my neck. It All it showed was that I had a couple of pinched nerves. So then the doctor suggested that I went to go see a bone specialist, I believe, a, a spine specialist. Um, but every single referral took about a month and a half. So from the end of November until May, so the end of November of 2021 until May of 2022, I was being referred from doctor to doctor to doctor. I probably saw over eight different doctors. And then finally in May of 2022, um, the last doctor that I saw was a neurologist, but not a neurologist that specialized in movement disorders. So he ordered one of the last tests I had was a CT scan and an MRI of my lower back. But because my neck was already, at this point, mind you, my neck is like completely turned to the right. So from November until May, um, November 21, 2021 until May of 2022, my symptoms progressively got worse and they took me down really quickly. So during the course of those six, about six months I was being referred to doc from doctor to doctor and each visit took a month to get in so each doctor that I was referred to it took me a month to see them um, so May of 2022 I had my last CT scan they couldn't successfully do the MRI because I had to hold my neck straight and I couldn't which was really frustrating so when the results came back from the CT scan the neurologist said, you know, they were a little fuzzy, um, but from what I could see, it doesn't seem like anything's going on. So then he referred me to another neurologist that specializes in movement disorders. And when I went to go see that doctor, which was mid-May, early June, I want to say of 2022, he pretty much slapped the diagnosis of cervical dystonia on me. He didn't he looked at me visually, but he didn't like examine me in any way. He didn't order any more tests or anything of that sort. He just slapped the label on me. Um, he said, okay, we're gonna order you Botox, but 
in order for us to get you approved for Botox, I have to prescribe you some muscle relaxers to see if those work. And I let him know, I said, listen, I've already been prescribed eight different types of muscle relaxers from muscle relaxers from all the previous doctors. None of them have worked. Like I have so many, I could probably start my own pharmacy. Uh, my cabinet is just stacked with muscle relaxers. None of them worked for me. Not only did they not work, but I didn't even feel them in my system. I didn't get sleepy, nothing. So I let him know that and he said, well, in order for us to get you approved for Botox though, I do have to prescribe you muscle relaxers. But a month, a month from now, if you tell me they don't work, I'll put in the request for Botox. I said, okay, great. Because at that point, nothing had worked. I had already been sent to physical therapy, which didn't work which was also really embarrassing for me because when I would go to my physical therapy sessions, everybody that was being treated next to me, they were being treated for, you know, either their leg or their back, you know, and they all looked relatively normal. And when I would go to my sessions, I couldn't hold my neck up. My neck was pulling, I was in pain and all of these exercises that they had me do just weren't working. So after a couple months of that, I realized, okay, this isn't it. And then, when I finally did see the dermatologist that slapped the label on me and said that I had to wait for about a month until, you know, he could put in the request. Um, you know, I waited, I waited for that request. I was approved. I was approved for 200 units. So in June of 2022, I had my first Botox session, which, so for me, my neck was like fully pulled to the right. I was pulled to the right and I was, I had this going on. And my neck was fully pulled, like there was no budge. I couldn't move it at all. Um, I, from the minute I went to bed to the minute I woke up, I never had a moment of relief. So for many months, um, I was pretty much stuck. May of 22, 2022 is when it was really, really bad, when it was completely pulled to the right. And I was that way until November of 2022. So June of 2022, I had a Botox session and I will say in terms of pain, Botox was amazing. My spasm was really intense here. So intense that um, if I wasn't lying down, if I was walking or doing anything where I even had to move my arms or other parts of my body, it was so bad that I pretty much walked around you know, just holding on to this muscle for like, to my neck for dear life, because it felt like it was just gonna snap right off. Um, so in terms of pain, the Botox was wonderful. Um, but in terms of mobility and being able to turn my neck, I actually felt like it made matters worse. My neck felt like jello. I felt, it felt so weak you know, but it was bittersweet for me because in my mind, I'm like, okay, well the pain's gone, but I'm still stuck to the right. But I was just happy with not being in any pain. Um, cause I had been in pain for like five, six months prior to that. So Botox did its job for that. Um, and then in July, so a month after my Botox session, I just happened to go on YouTube and I typed in my symptoms. I don't even remember if I typed in cervical dystonia, torticollis I don't I don't remember I just remember I typed something in that pertained to what I was going through and a lady's video popped up her name's Irene Neil worked with her and I played her video and I think she only had there was maybe only 12 views on this video um but I thought you know what like let me watch this video let me give it a go and I played the video and when she started to talk about what she had previously experienced with her neck being to one side. I believe hers was like down, whereas mine was up. Um, but when she was talking about her symptoms and what was going on, it was the first time ever since dealing with what I had been dealing with that um, I thought, oh my God, I'm not the only one. Because every doctor's appointment that I went to, every single one, with the exception of the last doctor, had no idea what was going on. They treated it like a muscular um, disorder of some sort. They thought maybe I had injured myself and I didn't realize it. 
Uh, one doctor had even said, well, some people's necks, you know, our necks, our, our heads are heavy. So, you know, it makes sense when we get older, um, you know, it will go more to one side. I mean, I had so many strange things thrown at me and beliefs as to why I was going through what I was going through. And it wasn't until Irene's video that um, I just felt like this huge sense of relief. I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm not the only one. Like there's other people that have gone through this or are currently going through this or may go through this in the future. And it just brought me a huge sense of comfort and peace in that moment. And when I finished watching her video, uh, I, you know, I went down the rabbit hole and I believe that she had um, put Neil's information in her video, if I'm not mistaken, which led me to Neil's page. And I went through all the videos. And one of the first videos I watched was from a lady named, I believe, Claire Thompson or Thompson. And when I watched her video, uh, and she started talking about what she had been going, what she was going through and what her symptoms were like and how her neck was completely turned to the right. Everything was just spot on for me. And to see her neck straight, I remember watching that video and I get kind of emotional because I remember watching that video and I'm like, that has to be me. Like I have to get to that place one day. I can't walk around for the rest of my life with my neck stuck. You know, and I didn't, I wasn't able to work because my job consisted of me driving um, to my clients' homes. Um, I'm an esthetician. I specialize in facials. So I have, or I used to have a mobile business. I would drive to my clients' homes, you know, set up the table and all my products. And I would give them these really relaxing facials. And that's what I did for work. But I could not work from the beginning of December 2021 pretty much until May of 2023, this year. Um, I couldn't drive. Uh, I mean, I if I had tried to drive, it would have been scary for me and everybody on the road. My neck was so pulled to the right. There's no way. So I made that sacrifice. I decided not to work. I closed my business. Um, I also wasn't approved for disability. Uh, they didn't see it as... I guess it's just so rare, so I didn't get that. So it was a really tough time for me. But when I saw Claire's video, I just knew that there was something more to this. And I really felt in my heart after watching her video, like that video sealed the deal for me. That video is what gave me like that strength back. I felt like I was able to take some of my power back. And I just knew that if there was someone out there that could help me and that understood what I was going through and could relieve me of my symptoms and give me the tools and just help me figure out a way to help myself, I could do it. And after watching her video, I reached out to Neil via, via email. This was July of 2022, so last year. And I don't even remember what I said. I, I just remember emailing him. He got back to me right away. And he asked if I wanted to schedule a consultation, a free consultation, which I thought was amazing because I had been spending so much money already, money that I was just taking for my savings because I didn't have an income at the time. And we set up the consultation for, I want to say, mid-July, mid if I'm not mistaken. Um, it was maybe like two hours via Zoom. And he asked me, he, he asked me so many questions and he was just so connected with me. And he was the first person that didn't make me feel crazy. He made me feel, he made me feel like I could relax. And he just, he brought this sense of comfort, which was what I needed because for so long, I felt like I was just being treated like a guinea pig. All these doctors were just trying, you know, different things on me, like different types of treatments, Botox, MRIs, x-rays, like maybe it's this, maybe it's that. And I, was, I felt like I was a ping pong. I was just being ping ponged around and it was horrible. Um, not to mention, you know, my self-esteem was completely gone. I wasn't confident anymore. I felt like anytime somebody looked at me, they were judging me. So, you know, it was a lot. But when I 
talk to Neil through, um, through Zoom, I felt, I really felt like he was going to be, he was going to be my answer. He was going to be what was going to help me. And I was so excited to work with him. Had Neil told me that his sessions were $10,000, I would have paid. I would have paid, I would have depleted everything in, to get to where I am today. But Neil's pricing is so fair. He charges, I believe 200 British pounds per session. His sessions are three hours long. I got Neil every session for three hours. I've never had a therapy session ever that was three hours long. Most of my sessions, I live in the US. If, if I go to therapy, like mental health, you know, counseling, my sessions are like 200 when I was going $250 for an hour and Neil charges 200 British pounds for three hours, which for me, I worked with them every two weeks. Um, I did four sessions with him one-on-one -on -one every two weeks. So the sessions for me always converted, uh, the conversion ended up being like 240 us dollars to either 265 on the high end. And I was fine with that because where I am today is all thanks to Neil and I'm so grateful. Um, so after we had our session, he did tell me that he felt confident that he could help me and that he could work with me and that I was going to be able to see that light at, light at the end of the tunnel, but I wasn't able to get on his books until November of 2022 because he was booked up um, but at that time I did have Botox in my neck so the pain was gone um, but I still couldn't do anything else but I was just happy that I wasn't in pain um, so I you know I patiently waited until November and I had my first session with him in November and by December 27th by December 27th um, I was able to effortlessly turn my neck to the left and to the right while sitting down. So after about seven, eight weeks of working with Neil, I woke up one day and I decided to make myself a cup of cold, um, a cup of coffee and I walked downstairs and I sat on the couch. It had become my routine to like turn on the TV and, and watch, you know, a few shows in the morning with my cup of coffee and my dog. And that day, my partner and my mom happened to be over because we, they all had a few days off because it was Christmas time. And I remember sitting on the couch and I, I, I remember like I turned my neck to the left just like this. And I remember feeling like such an immense amount of joy. I was so happy and I just kept my neck to the left. I didn't want to move because I didn't want to mess it up. And I called my mom and my partner um, downstairs and I said, I said, look, look, my neck's turning. I get so emotional every time I talk about that, but really like they're tears of joy because I was literally stuck to the right for so long with no budge, no relief, nothing worked. But in that moment, I just felt like, oh my God, like I'm getting my life back. And that will forever be one of my greatest moments. And truly, it really is all because of Neil. Like he gave me that strength. He gave me the tools and the exercises. And he helped me so much with my mind and my emotions and the way that I would converse with people and what I was willing to talk about and what I wouldn't and just not using the term cervical dystonia or making my whole life about my neck. He helped me realize so many things and I'm so grateful for Neil. So grateful because now it is June of 2023 and by December, December 27th of 2022, I was able to turn my neck left and right while I was sitting and by March, by, I'm sorry, by February, uh, early February to mid-February, 
is when I was able to effortlessly turn my neck left and right, control my neck, not only while I was sitting, but while I was walking. So I slowly started to get better. The symptoms slowly started to subside. And it, it's been so amazing. And now here I am, it's um, the end of June now, and I'm back at work. I've been back at work since May, although I started to recover in December with Neil, I wanted to continue to work on myself, my mind, my emotions, um, you know, just the, not just the physical side, but the emotional side of it too, and just really take care of me. So I did wait before I reopened my business in May, although I did start recovering months before that. Um, so I'm back at work now. I'm able to drive. No one ever asked me about my neck. I don't think people could even tell what I went through. And it's great. And not only do I feel amazing physically, but in terms of how I feel emotionally, I am so much stronger and I feel so much happier and so much lighter than I did even before I started to exhibit symptoms. I used to catastrophize all the time and I truly thought it was normal. I catastrophized so much throughout the day. I just thought it was who I was, part of my personality. Um, and now that I have worked with Neil, I don't anymore. I, I now under, I can hear my thoughts. I know that sounds crazy, but before I wasn't aware of what I was thinking or what I was feeling. And now I'm so aware of everything of, how I feel, of what makes me happy, of what I'm not willing to do, of what like, you know, feeds my soul and just who Vina is. And I am so grateful for that. And now having gone through what I went through, which at the time was devastating, it was one of the hardest things I've ever gone through in my life. And I know how hard it is, but having worked with Neil and now being on the other side and truly living symptom free, I am actually so grateful that I went through that because it has made me such a stronger person, such a happier person, such a better person. And really it's all, it's really all thanks to Neil. Had I not went on YouTube that night and seen Irene's video and seen Claire's video, I never would have been led to Neil. So I just wanted to share that um i'm so sorry this i was hoping that this video would be short um it's about like it says 22 minutes long but that's a little bit of my story and i just hope that if anyone sees this video i just really hope that you believe that you can recover and that you're worth it and there are people out there like neil that can help you and neil is amazing and he's patient and the fact that neil himself has gone through this even more reason to work with him so if you've exhausted all your options and you're tired and you really feel like you know this is going to be your forever i really hope you see this video and i hope that this is what can help you to send that email to Neil or send that message on Facebook to Neil and book your sessions because honestly, it was the best thing that I've ever done and I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful and I know how hard it really is and sometimes when I do think about what I went through, I do get teary-eyed and it does make me, it does make me emotional but I'm not sad about it anymore. I really feel like it was one of the biggest blessings and I'm grateful at this point in my life. I'm so grateful and I'm so grateful to Neil and I'm so grateful to Irene and to Claire for posting your videos because had you not, I don't know if I would have been led to Neil. So thank you. Thank you so much.